Hey, so here we have the new Game Maker Studio. This was just released very recently, and I am quite excited about it. It is a pretty awesome program. Now, the first thing you should notice is that Game Maker HTML5 has been discontinued, as in it as it by itself has been discontinued, because Game Maker Studio now includes HTML5. And the way they have the purchase system set up right now is you can pay for Game Maker Studio just by itself. You can't export to anything but Windows. And that, I think, is around $100, which is, you know, it's okay. But then, if you pay $100 after that, then you can add an extra feature. Say, uh, I think you have three different options right now. iOS, Android, and HTML5. Now, don't be don't be too worried about HTML5 if you already bought it, because if you did already buy it before today or whenever this was released, then you get to get Game Maker Studio with HTML5 module for free, which is pretty awesome. Now, so that, that's what I have right now. Currently, I can't export to iOS or Android, but to be quite honest, I didn't really want to anyway because I do not have either of those devices. So. Here we have the new studio. So the first thing that makes this is so awesome is the Windows Runner. The Windows Runner is not running off of the same thing that GameMaker 8.1 was, which is a lot nicer. So the first thing is its speed. It's just so much faster in just running the exactly the same thing. So I've already done some stress tests, and yeah, it's, it's fast. Like, it's really fast. But also something you might notice is the fact that it has a physics engine built in. This is pretty awesome. So if you've ever tried doing physics in Game Maker before, you know that the only way to make it actually well work well, unless you want to attempt to code it yourself, is you have to use a DLL, which obviously did not work in HTML5. And if you did, then you pretty much were forced to use everything in the DLL. So it had a whole bunch of um, strange external functions, and you had to do absolutely everything through them. You couldn't use any part of Game Maker at all, really, when it came to collisions or moving or anything. You had to do everything through the DLL. Well, now Game Maker has it built in. Actually, in the object properties themselves, you can set uh, different shapes here. You can set, you know, density, a whole bunch of different physics properties, and you can set them in code as well. It really is a nice physics engine. I, I love how it's set up. And then it uses Game Maker's collision um, properties right here so that you can collision with each other. So, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely liking it. This did not take me very long to put together, and it already is a fully working collision system. So, I'll show it to you now. It, it, I, I really am liking it. I tried playing it in HTML5, and it is quite a bit slower, but it did work. So I was, I was quite happy about that. So here we have a little room here. These are all static blocks that I have set up here. Uh, and you make them static simply by setting the density to zero. And then they are static, meaning they're not affected by gravity or other objects, right? So other objects can bounce off of them, but nothing can move them. Anyway, so when I click, I create a random object. Um, I think I have a square, a triangle, a circle, and a... Oof, whatever you call this little cylinder, I suppose. Anyway, so, yeah, the physics is working really well. And this is all calculated by GameMaker in real time. It's working quite well. I can create quite a few objects here. And it all works pretty seamlessly inside of the game. So you can quite easily add this into your own game without having to worry about anything, really. It's, it's awesome. It even has its own built-in debugging feature, so if I... Um, enable debugging here, you can see a whole bunch of extra properties. So you can see their actual bounding box in which they will uh, detect other objects. You can see what objects they're touching and their actual rotation value to pay based on their starting rotation. So yeah, it's it really is quite awesome. I'm loving Studio. So yeah, this would have been $200 for me. Uh, the HTML5 module and Studio itself, but once again, because I bought Game Maker HTML5 for 80 bucks before, now I get it for free. So that's a pretty sweet deal. So if you did, 
then I would highly suggest you doing it. Now I am getting a slow FPS right now just because I'm recording and this is a lower end computer. So keep that in mind. Now I did test this on my program, uh, my 3D modeling program. All the functions aren't the same. Like uh, there isn't quite as many functions as of yet. I'm sure they will add more in the future. But just, just adding some things, I already found it to be way faster. Like just playing, running the game is, is just so much faster than in, in, than in 8.1. So I'm a big fan of that. My program will be running so much faster. So, yeah. Anyway, I highly recommend getting it. Even if you already have 8.1, I would still highly recommend it just for its speed and extra functions. So... Anyway, this has been my quick review. I will do a more complex physics tutorial later on, but for right now, this is this is it, and I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.